There's no way you would knowingly gamble with your brother's life the way Sonny did with yours. Look, I get that you hate my dad. You'd probably blame him for the economy if you could figure out how, but you're wrong about him. You know, if he thinks that it's dangerous for us to be someplace, he doesn't let us go. Yeah, but he doesn't always know, does he? He's just guessing. Please. Hey, I thought we could open this together. It's from your mom. Everything okay? Yeah. I was just telling Michael, uh, about blame for his shooting. He wanted to know, so I told him the truth. Oh. I assume that you blame Dad, too. Well, you know what, Michael? Um, I was so terrified and angry those first few months. I blamed, I blamed anyone I passed on the street, but no one more than myself. But we got you back, and you're healthy, and you're handsome, and you're trying to get your life together, and that's wonderful. It, it's so great, and I don't want to miss out on all that joy because of something we can't change. And besides, if you want to know who I blame for your shooting, it's the bastard who pulled the trigger, and he's already dead. Hey, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any calls while I was asleep? Nothing. We should be hearing from our South American partner. Minus one Mo Verde, who currently sleeps with the fishes. Unless he talked his way out of it, because he could be pretty slick. Yeah, I doubt it. You didn't leave the council in a very conciliatory mood, did you? You look nice. Thank you. I don't know, maybe you could take me somewhere and show me off a little bit. We are in Puerto Rico, the city of excitement and fun and lights. We do have something to celebrate unless you really... Unless you're not up for it. I know what brought it on. The dream. Tonight was a big win for me, and that's when it usually happens. The guilt kicks in, and I relive it in slow motion so I don't miss one single detail. I could actually feel the weight of Michael's head in my hands. The blood, warm, vital, and I'm... I second, I can see that blank look on his face, and my son is just... Just lying there on the ground, gone. Visitors, and I'm actually pretty tired. Well, I'm not surprised. Keeping a life-altering secret from someone you love really does take a toll. Really? We're going to talk about this I right have never now. known you to be willfully blind, Olivia, but you no longer have that luxury. If you don't take your head out of the sand and deal with this disaster, someone is going to end up seriously dead. And I know you don't want that to be your son. I don't understand. I thought your father's identity was a mystery even to your mother. True, but I knew enough of her story to launch an investigation. She uh, fell in with an older crowd. She was uh, doing a lot of drinking, a lot of sexual freedom, big point of rebellion. Yeah, that phase in her life is not too clear. Mm -hmm. You catch my drift. Wow. <laughs> but you know, she never used it as like a glorifying thing. She, it was like an object lesson, an example of something I shouldn't do. She always said she had no regrets. I mean, how could she? Look what she got. <laughs> so anyway, I started asking around, talked to some of her girlfriends. They mentioned some names of a few guys they knew she was involved with. So I tracked them down. How enterprising. I mean, how old were you? I don't know, 14, around there. Yeah, one of the guys died in a car accident. The other two left the neighborhood, but they didn't go far. I mean, most people don't. So I surveilled them. Surveilled? Uh, yeah, it's, I used to talk in those terms back then, like I was some kind of private investigator or something. 
So anyway, I was sitting outside this guy's house, watching him come and go. Cute little bungalow, nothing fancy, but, you know, a step up. Pretty wife, three kids. Complete. So, you know, no room for me. So I left it alone. Okay, come on, I need more. Unfortunately, there is no more. As I previously indicated, Devin recorded his calls on rudimentary equipment. Uh, frankly, I'm constantly surprised. Okay, Spinelli, I know that this is Claudia, so how, how do we prove that? Um, perhaps Stone Cold isn't listening, or maybe I'm just uh, not saying what he wants to hear. There, there aren't enough words to extrapolate okay, a voice. See, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to accept that, so you need to loop it, extend it. You need to do whatever it takes to match that woman's voice to Claudia. Now! I'm sorry, but is... Stone Cold asking me to frame Mr. Sir's wife for a crime that we can't prove she committed? Uh, are you kidding? She committed it. She ordered the hit. It went wrong. Michael got shot. What? What's the problem here? The problem is gut instinct does not constitute real proof. And tailoring evidence to support what is but a theory is most dishonorable. And that is indeed what you're asking me to do. I, I'm sorry, but I find it alarming. When, when does Claudia start to pay for what she's done? Never? With all due respect... Stone Cold's hatred for Vixenella is clouding his judgment. Clearly evidenced by what you're asking me to do. Maybe you just need to step back and think about that.